Hi everyone. So I decided to try a different angle today. Let me know if you like it. Um, but yes, this is how my desk is currently set up. I'm, I might change a little bit more. I'm buying a little bit of things here and there. Um, I just got this organizer right here to organize some of my colored pens. So hopefully I will finish this up before 2020, but I'm sure I'll keep changing it. Either way, I wanted to do an unboxing for Goddess Provisions. Uh, this is actually the Moon box, which I'm super excited about because I love the moon. I did open this yesterday first, so it's not like a true unboxing. However, I still want to show you what I got when I saw this. This is a sticker kit by the Crafting Witch, which I have recently been watching on YouTube and I was going to buy something. So I'm really glad that I got this first because now I can get an, uh, an idea of not only how it looks in person, but also how the stickers, you know, do on my planners and such. So, I mean, this is so cute. It's all moon theme for this one and some crystals, which I have another pack of crystal stickers. Super excited to use this. Next is, actually, let me show you the card first that I came with. Which is really pretty. I actually have, a, have one here and then one on the other side. But this one's really pretty. I might put it on this wall over here, actually. And then the mantra for this month is, I find my flow as I tune into rhythms, cycles, and seasons. Very much about the moon, the lunar cycles. Um, this is a really pretty moth. So yeah, I mean, I love the artwork all the time. So I'm really glad I got those two. I kind of want to make like a little cute, like maybe I'll frame them or something. I'll start putting them up because they're really pretty. The next one is a necklace that I'm most likely going to wear today, but I left it in here so I can show you. So it came in this little pouch, and it is a moon necklace. Let's see if I can show you. It's gold, but I mean, I don't, I don't like gold, <laughs> but this one's really pretty because I really like the little moon. Um, a crescent moon means to bring forth, create, grow, and thrive. Wear your crescent moon necklace to harness your greatness within and create from your goddess heart. So it's really pretty and I'm going to wear this today. Next thing. See, this I was supposed to get last month. Um, I it was, I'm on the moon subscription box where you get information about the moon and like it's a whole digital pack with some meditations. And this was a sneak peek because they give you a sneak peek to the next box. So I actually got the sneak peek twice because they meant to put it for this month. It does have a little guide with it, but they are all um, smoky quarks, and they all have a phase of the moon. I'm not going to show you all of them, but there's a few of them. But yeah, there's it's all the phases of the moon. There's that one, um, and this one. Let's see that. They're all smoky quartz and all the phases of the moon, and I'm very excited to see how I'm going to use those because I was waiting for them. Um, the next thing, this was actually in its own box, so it didn't come like this, but I already used it. So there's water in it. It's a diffuser. Uh, you put the water down here, and then you turn it on. It's not going to turn on because it's not connected, but when there's two buttons on it. The first one turns it on, or the first click of the button turns it on, and the second one turns on a nightlight. And let's see if I can show you without spilling. This is actually the moon, so it's really, really cute. Uh, I don't know if I like it just sitting there like that, but that's the only way you can do it. I, it would have been cool if it was, like, kind of propped up like that and maybe shooting up from here. I mean, Goddess Provisions didn't make this, um, but that's just my thoughts on that. It is actually pretty strong for a little uh, diffuser. It blows out quite a bit, and there's no settings on it that I can tell. So that's the only thing I figured out. I had it on... Uh, my little altar here, however, was way too strong for me, and I only put one drop of uh, oil, so I might have to find a different home for it, maybe more central in our room, so it can go everywhere. Oh, I forgot it had water. <laughs> put it back there. Next one was a bath bomb. And I did, as I said, I opened this box already because it was I just wanted to open it. That's all there is to that. But... I mean, right now I have way too many bath bombs, so I'm going to need to start gifting some. I won't be gifting this one because I think it actually broke. Uh, so I'll be using it. And it get, got all over my hands. It's like, I don't think it's glitter. It looks glittery. It might, I don't know what it is, but it looks 
glittery. It smells pretty good. Let's actually see what kind it is. It's chamomile. It's funny because sometimes I, I think I mentioned this before with another box. Sometimes I like chamomile and sometimes I don't. This one smells pretty good. It doesn't bother me. But it actually says to do this during the next waning gibbous moon. So I will do that. And all of the information about how much all of this is valued, I will post below. I know I did on my first or second video that I edited in, but that takes way too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I would say the most expensive thing in this box at $44 are these kind of rune stones. And then the next one at $37 was the necklace. And then the last thing, the last thing in the box, there's another digital item. But the last thing is, see, I thought I can use this either as an altar cloth or even just like a, like a tapestry or something. It's so cute. I'll tell you what it is in a second. Um, it's upside down. Let's turn that right side up. Okay, so it's so cute. Look at the one in the middle, his little mustache. So adorable. It's a dishcloth, <laughs> which I don't think I would be able to use it as a, it, it says dishcloth, I think. Dish towel, same thing. I Like I said, I don't think I'll be able to use this as a dish towel. I feel like I would, oh, it says it right there on her. I feel like it's much too decorative for me to put as a dish towel. Um, even ones that you just kind of have, like, over there have a fall one, but this is too cute to use for that. So, I might use it as an altar cloth or um, maybe hang it up like a tapestry because it's so cute, but I don't think I could use it as a dishcloth. I think that would be very upsetting to me. <laughs> uh, the last thing is a lunar alignment journal. Hmm, I didn't know that. I didn't read all of this yesterday. Download this moon cycle tracking journal to record patterns in your flow energy, mood, mindset, and more to gain awareness of your personal phases. That's so funny that I got that. I, like, this happens every month. I, I swear it happens every month that I end up with a box that I'm currently, like, thinking about. So I don't know if I'm, like, manifesting everything that's in this box um, or most of the things. This is very moon-based, and I actually put a moon phase slash menstrual phase slash energy like tracking in my um little bullet journal right here that's what i'm doing this month because i really want to track and i want to do that every month because i want to see how my energy ebbs and flows see it has if it has to do with the moon blah 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 so that's very interesting that there's a journal for it so i might actually look at their journal and see if i could anything that i didn't think about i could apply to my bullet journal which is right behind me but yeah that's it for this box i know this is probably a shorter video but Jason is actually taking a bike ride, and today is our anniversary. We've been together for two years, even though we both feel it's been longer. So we're getting ready to go to an observatory. I won't be posting this today. I'm going to be posting this probably on Thursday, maybe Friday. Um, I don't generally like working or doing editing or stuff when he has time off, because I do like spending time with him. So I'm just recording this because I got ready pretty fast, and he's still on his bike ride, so... Yeah. And uh, one more thing I do want to say here, uh, if you've been following along this little side story, I've been kind of saying I got my life coach certification. I turned in everything yesterday and I finished all of my practice clients yesterday. And this morning I was informed that I am certified because I turned everything in. Everything's good. I passed my test. I passed you know everything. So yeah, so I'm really excited. So we're celebrating a few things today actually um our anniversary that i got my uh, certificate and that i went through my own personal coach my own coach i went through all of her programs this year and we just finished up last like last on sunday so a lot of things have happened and i'm very happy <laughs> um but yeah if you want any more information about the moon uh goddess provision box is gonna be down there and if you want any more information about life coaching and my services my website will be down below Go ahead and go there. If you have any questions, comment or message me. My Instagram will be somewhere after this video too. Feel free to message me on either of those if you have any questions. And I most likely will be doing some videos about not really like life coaching, but you know, things that are around my services and things that you know I really think that people should know about. I also will be creating a five day 
freebie course, which I will post here when it's ready, kind of explaining what it's about. And then if you want to sign up, you can sign up. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and a great week or whatever time you're watching this. Have a great time. <laughs>